So a warm welcome to everyone. Today is a very special day, International Women's Day. It's a day to celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of the women and to raise the awareness about the gender inequality and that still exists in the world a little bit. I would like to extend a warm welcome to the amazing women who has joined us today to celebrate this special occasion, Ms. Radhika Arora. Welcome, ma'am. So to give a brief introduction about her, she's the VP and Group CHRO of Jackson Group, a diverse <laughs> energy infrastructure company having expertise in distributed energy, solar energy, EPC, hydrogen hybrid, and battery energy storage solutions. In addition to her HR, she also had administration and facility management, EHS, and CSR of the group. With a total close experience of 19 years in the HR space, Radhika is a change leader, a problem solver, and enabler of personal and professional excellence. She has special interest in HR digitalization, talent skilling, diversified agendas. Prior to the Jackson, she was associated with the giant energy public sector company, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited for the decade and with Sony India for seven years. So a very warm welcome, Radhika. To discuss about the theme of International Women's Day today, choose to challenge. Uh, I would like to ask you what initiatives your company has taken to promote the gender equality and diversity in the workspace. Um, thank you, Prerna. Thank you so much. Uh, quite an, uh, uh, you know, generous introduction. I'm not sure if I even deserve it, but thank you so much. And a very warm welcome to all the listeners. And um, here's wishing you all a very happy women's day. So, in terms of uh, initiatives, what our company has taken as far as gender equality is concerned, I think uh, the biggest one is uh, right now uh, being an energy sector, a manufacturing company, a contracting company, our um, female ratio itself right now is quite skewed, right? We have very less number of employees. So for last two, three years, I think our focus has been to increase the diversity hiring. And that's what we are uh, trying each day, uh, increasing the number of females. Uh, the offers which we are rolling out, we are trying at least 8 to 10% of those offers are diversity offers. And, uh, uh, you know, we are trying to just um, increase the strength first. That's one. Second is uh, we are also uh, trying that the places which are generally male dominated, we are trying that we increase the female strength there. So uh, in our Greater Noida manufacturing facility where we manufacture solar modules, one of the line essentially is almost being run by females. Mm -hmm. So we are hiring uh, female staff there and we are trying that the entire line is being run by female staff. Uh, and then uh, to further, you know, increase the female hiring, we are actually dedicating or earmarking few roles for female hiring only. So, of course, all other roles definitely are open to anyone and everyone, including males and females. But specific roles, we have said that, OK, let's try to first fill that role through females. So that's how we are trying to give more thrust there on female hiring. Uh, then we are also conducting a lot of uh, diversity and inclusion workshops. You know, the main issue here is not really hiring. We can still hire. But then a bigger issue is, are we making an inclusive workforce uh, and an inclusive workplace? You know, so uh, the point is we have to really change the mindset of people. We have to change the mindset of hiring managers. We have to change the mindset of the colleagues, the male colleagues with whom these female would be working. So their unconscious biases, which they are having, which is obviously the result of <laughs> our upbringing, our society and everything else. So we are trying to, you know, uh, ha have those workshops where we are trying to tell people that uh, let's just shed these unconscious biases and let's wholeheartedly accept women also in the workplace. Yeah. So that's something which we are doing. Then we also have a women forum where quarterly we meet and we organize special activities, uh, leadership development activities, well-being activities and other such things uh, to um, ensure that the uh, women are engaged and some special attention is being given to them, both for their development and their well-being. 
then uh, we have uh, programs which is of course open to all uh, mentorship programs high pot identification and development program so there also uh, we have good representation from our uh, women employees uh, which helps in their development and then uh, we at jackson we also believe in this philosophy of hiring talent at the beginning you know so we uh, take lot of interns and uh, gts mts from campuses so and we want to uh, groom them in the system so we really don't want to just keep hiring uh, lateral hires and ensuring that you know whenever there is an attrition we bring somebody from the market uh, of course that proportion will remain but we are trying that we uh, promote people from within so in that internship journey now we are trying that more than 50% of our intake is female you know? mm -hmm. so even when we go for engineering uh, gts hiring uh, we try uh, though it is uh, honestly speaking when we go for core streams mechanical electrical etc even in colleges we don't find a higher proportion of females there mm -hmm. but whatever is available uh, so we target more number of colleges so that that 50% of our target of hiring uh, female interns uh, gets through and uh, that's how they will then move the hierarchy and we will be able to increase our diversity mix in the workforce right now yeah so, so i think a um, couple of initiatives which i've just told you yeah. yeah 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 and talking about the young people as you have mentioned so what advice would you like to give to the young women who are just starting off their you know uh, careers in your industry like as you have mentioned in heavy industry anyway the female ratio is very less uh, so what is your advice to the young women? Okay, so first I will talk in general, you know, <laughs> I would want to give this advice to all young women out there who are starting their career. Uh, we will come to my industry a little later. So see, there's a lot of noise around, okay? Every time, whenever we, uh, so uh, while all of us have been growing up, uh, there is noise about women have to be a certain way. Girls have to be a certain mm -hmm. way. And also in career. So when we are moving, when we are starting our jobs, our parents, our friends, our uh, uh, senior mentors, and there'll be a lot of noise around. Be like this, be like that, do right. this, conduct yourself like this. Okay. Right. And there is always this definition of good girl, which carries along even in our workplace. I would like to give this advice. Please don't be that good girl. Good girls don't make history. Bold girls make history. Bold people make history. So really, if you want to do something different, if you want to be really a superstar of your life, if you want to reach the zenith of your career, if you want to have your full potential and work towards it, then please be bold. Please be fearless. Please don't always comply by those norms or those um, do's and don'ts. You should not confine yourself with that. In your heart, you know what you're doing is right. So just go on and achieve whatever you want to. So please, please, please be bold. Another one, and especially for females, this is a very important one. You know, this biological clock and the career clock. They are always in that conflict with each other. When you really want to make your career, when you are trying to make it big, there's this time of having kids, you know. And when you move up to the middle management or you are trying to venture out from the middle management to the senior uh, management, uh, the, your kids would be teenagers. And there would be the time when they will need you more. When you grow further, then your parents would need you. Okay, so then... This balance and especially in our society, females being the primary caregivers, this responsibility of managing kids, managing households, uh, always comes on the shoulder of women. So balance it and don't feel guilty. It's okay if you miss, if you're really very serious about your career and because of some meetings at workplace, if you're missing some parent teachers meeting of your kids, please don't beat yourself. Okay, be confident you have chosen a career for yourself. Everything will get managed. Everything will get balanced. Unfortunately or fortunately, both these cycles will run together. Your career cycle, your biological cycle. So you have to balance it and balance it in a way that you don't feel guilty. 
see whether you come to work or you are a housewife people will always have something or the other to tell you so please don't go by what others are saying please go by what your heart says so i think these are the two big pieces which i wanted to talk about in terms of our industry i don't think so there's any specific advice which would be needed of course this is the renewable energy space ever changing technology is really changing fast so everybody needs to be updated about the happenings in this industry what's happening technologically you need to be sure about what we are doing and then another one of course uh, being digital savvy is very important in today's world and time it's not for female specifically uh, any young aspirants i would uh, want to tell you that be uh, digitally uh, aware and savvy data analytics very important uh, don't be afraid of numbers whichever role whatever function you perform whether it is sales whether it is hr finance anything you have to have this knack of analysis and loving the numbers so please do that uh, i think uh, uh, another big one for females would be please seek out mentors please have good industry networking and look out for leaders who can help you okay there's no harm in seeking out mentors and seeking for help seeking for advices mm -hmm. and networking is something which is very important in today's era so please do that yeah good point i was very much able to relate with whatever you have said okay so moving ahead what do you think some of the biggest challenges that female face while working or at the workplace today and how can we address those challenges specifically um see though as a industry as a society as a corporate world we have advanced okay we talk about a lot today about diversity initiatives being taken we are saying we are doing this we are doing that women have entered every space but the fact mm -hmm. still remains that every day every day not only at offices at homes we are still subjected to lot of unconscious gender biases okay mm -hmm. and this one challenge definitely remains even today if a woman is doing really well in her career if she is getting good promotions if you are get, uh, if she is uh, getting good opportunities and uh, she has a male boss even sometimes women will start to feel that okay maybe something fishy is going on there people will not talk about her capability or her skill but people will start talking about what is the relationship between the boss and the female you know and this is really a very bitter truth of our indian society so this mindset change needs to really happen that women are also capable and they should not be subjected to unconscious biases each day and of course uh, how do we manage it i think uh, it's happening on its own also people are getting advanced there is a change mindset change happening and obviously lot of corporates are taking many initiatives in terms of you know lot of dive workshops are happening we are trying to at least make people realize that you know maybe unintentional but these biases exist how do we really tackle them so this is something which is still a challenge another challenge we may not talk about it but women are definitely subjected to sexual harassment at workplace it happens um no you know only thing is people don't report even today our society tells us it's better to stay quiet if you will say even your reputation will be at stake the mm -hmm. same thing actually advances on uh, in our workplaces also so uh, harassments are happening women are not reporting of course with posh compliances and government becoming more active on this front uh, there are cases where women are reporting also there are uh, there is other side of the story also where frivolous and false complaints are also being uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. raised by the women folks but uh, the fact remains that the majority of women who are really subjected to harassment are still not coming out and reporting and which is really unfortunate and this is a challenge which exists again how do we mitigate that lot of awareness lot of sessions uh, giving women that comfort if they will come out uh, what would be the actions that could be taken a, fair, a free and fair inquiry will be conducted uh, conducted so all these things will definitely help to address this concern we also have a very less representation of uh, leaders uh, you know women leaders 
at the top in many of the organizations, especially the core sectors of infrastructure, manufacturing, etc. So there is a need to really increase that number so that more and more women can reach the top and more and more women can fight for the interests of other women. So um, I think uh, another one which uh, we spoke earlier also, work-life balance for women also remains a challenge. You know, at the end of the day, yes, a lot of men are coming out and a uh, lot of men are saying, okay, now uh, managing home is the dual responsibility, uh, men. But 90% of the houses in India still today, the responsibility of caregiving lies with the female. Mm -hmm. You know, at least the primary. Okay, uh, so another point uh, in terms of the challenges uh, which women face, uh, I think we were talking about it a little while back also, uh, that uh, women being the primary caregivers, okay, there is this challenge of managing work and life. Uh, I mean, uh, office uh, work and personal uh, space, though uh, these days, uh, thanks to a lot of men, they are coming ahead and they're saying that they want to shoulder the household responsibilities with their uh, spouses, uh, but still 90% uh, of the household, still a lot of responsibility is on the women's shoulders, uh, the household responsibilities. So I think there is a, and a lot of women crumble under that pressure of managing uh, the personal mm -hmm. and professional life. Uh, from the corporates, I think what we can really do is offer flexible timings. If possible, uh, please uh, uh, extend uh, work from home opportunities in case of, of course, if the reasons are genuine. So these are the few things where we can help. Plus, a lot of companies these days are um, offering uh, uh, jobs to women who are coming back after a career break uh, because mm -hmm. of maternity or some other reason. So uh, this, these are all good initiatives. And I think corporates should support uh, women in ensuring that they are able to uh, seamlessly manage uh, their personal and professional lives. So with all these initiatives, I'm sure uh, we will uh, get there very soon, where we are able to create a comfortable place for our women employees to really perform and thrive. Definitely, definitely. You know, you have so beautifully accumulated all these points together and have done justice with the topic of uh, choose to the challenge. And despite of all the challenges, women have continued to show the incredible strength, resilience and determination. And you have one such example. So women have been at the forefront of the fight against, you know, work, professional life, caregiving, essential working. So we are always being strengthened, but with the idea of women supporting women and, you know, if more people like you will come forward and vouch about it, I think that's also a first step towards bringing that change. So thank you so much, Radhika, for your time and for such an insightful, thoughtful conversation. And with this, I would like to, you know, once again, wish inter happy International Women Day to all the women out there. And uh, I'm so sure that collectively, we all will be able to bring that change. Definitely, yes. And we women are rock stars. We were winners. We are winners and we'll be winners. Yes. Uh, thanks, Prerna. Thanks uh, Thank for so the much. opportunity. And thanks for this uh, wonderful conversation. And you said, uh, you know, happy International Women's Day to all the women uh, listeners out there. I, uh, I'm sure even a few men would also watch this video. So happy <laughs> Women's Day to <laughs> them <as well>. everyone. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.